Greetings, everybody. Rich Olivon here today, and I'm. No, it's been a while since I've had a skate video, and yeah, I know it's a doozy. The first skate back is the Adapt <laughs> Super Legera, the brand new masterpiece line skate from Adapt Brand. We all know. Oh, sorry, my head was just in the way. I'm kind of sitting off to the side at the moment. But anyway, we all know Adapt. They're from the Netherlands. If you have never heard of them, we I know most core people. Who are like really into role playing though, but just I'll give you a little overview in case you don't know. So, Adapt brand is a brand run by a guy named Peter and I believe his wife Olga over in the Netherlands, and they make handmade skates. Like I've had on my channel previously, my Russell Day um, stealth adapts, and I've raved about how much I love them. So here's the, here, we'll bring over the Russell Days for a little bit. See, here's the Russell Day. I'll bring it to the camera so you guys can see it. There we go. The Russell Day adapts. You guys remember these ones. These are my favorite um, aggressive skate ever. The, the fit and feel of them is just, you know, second to none. I was just blown away by um, the quality of the actual skate itself, the Russell Days. And so that got me thinking, like, because you guys know I've tried every, a, a lot of the skates on the market. If you, if you go through the videos, you'll see my different um, unboxings. But none of them really, you know, they never really fit me too well until I tried the Russell Day and I was just blown away by its quality and comfort. So I was actually planning on buying a um, Adapt GTO model this year, which is I th this, is the, this one here. I believe, that, I believe that this one is the GTO or, or maybe it's the GT, um, depending on which um, one is that. But it was the Hyperskate I was going to buy this year until I saw these on display at um at winter clash not well i wasn't at winter clash but i saw it on the instagram on their booth and i was trying to zoom into the picture like stretching the picture to see what that skate was that super leger because up to that point they only showed the brutale the rivale the gt and gto so i was like what is this other boot in the middle and so the uh, that brand on the instagram replied back more on that soon. So I was like, I was like, oh my God, I, I have to get this skate. This is the skate to get. For bye bye, you know, GTO for now. Let's see what this other one's all about. <clears throat> so yeah, so this is the Super Legera. It's um, it's handmade. It's um, it's beautiful from what I can tell, by what I can see by looking at it. It's a very beautiful skate. Um, and it's carbon. It's carbon fiber, with a liner. This liner is actually glued into the skate. It's not meant to come out. Um. Adapt doesn't want people taking that liner out because it's built with the um, boot in mind. So aftermarket liners is not something they want people using with it. If you get caught using an aftermarket liner, they p won't sell you another skate. So I, I'm not going to do that because, I, I mean, the Russell Day skate to me was perfect out the box. And this thing looks perfect already. I put I already put, I already put it on my feet. feels great. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like from the, the top-down view in a moment toward maybe towards the end of this video but let's just talk about the um, actual skate for a little bit so yeah um I got the actual this is this is my skate so what I had to do was I had to trace my foot and send them measurements of it and everything so they could actually make the skate preferably um pers not preferably personally for let's see if I can get a little bit of focus on that they can make it you know personally for my feet because it's, it's handmade it's made from by hand and here you go right here they give you a photo where is it right here of your actual skate production see the mold that that was made right there it says Richard V that's me Jolly Vaughn and that's my skate being um made right there really cool really cool little touch they have, have with that so as you can see it has nice um red and black laces here there's the feel waxed you get an extra pair inside the um box as well a nice velcro strap here strong velcro strap here Here's the tongue. The tongue actually has the full adapt name on it, as you can see. Yeah, you guys can see that. Head's getting in the way again. Yeah, there you go. And um, here's the inside, if you guys want to see what the inside of it looks like. If you can, I don't know if you can see much of any detail in there, but there's a My Soul liner in there, um, similar to this one, but it's blue on the inside. So they give you a, they give you a spare liner, a spare um, insole. For your boot if you you know if you need it but if your boot gets damaged or your liner gets damaged adapt will actually you could send the boot back to adapt they'll put a new lacquer on it and they'll um, replace the liner you know so this skate for its price which was um 
1,300 euros. The um, U.S. conversion is a little bit more, you know, because of the exchange rates and things of that nature. So it's about, about 1,300 euros now. Some of you might be saying, 1,300 for a skate. That's insane, man. It's a skate. But figure, look at it this way. I, this is the type of skating I do the most. I'm on my um, power slide next a lot. I, that's the main skate I use. Um, these will obviously be replacing those. And if I feel like getting the, um, the three wheel set up from adapter, I'll just upgrade that frame for um, three wheel. So, but that, but yeah, but those skates will be, my power slide next will be replaced by these and these will become my main skates. So if you're, if you're concerned about the price, you need to look at it as um, kind of like bicycles, you know, like a carbon fiber bicycle. I know people who spend close to $10,000 on a bicycle. I mean, that's crazy to me. So it's all in perspective of what you're um, using it for. It's not a skate for everybody. It's a skate for, you know, people who really want that like top of the line equipment to see, um, you know, because it's what you do. It's what you enjoy doing and I enjoy skating. And I enjoy skating like urban skating like, like this. So yeah, all right. So let's talk a little bit more about the setup. So I got this skate set up with the 84 hyper frame from Adapt. This is not the new Quattro frame. I will, um, let's see if I can get you guys to see the Super Legera logo right there. I will be upgrading to the Quattro frame. As you can see, the mounting is there. So this frame can use standard mounts and also it can use, I believe, USF frames with an adapter. So um, I will be though, upgrading to the um, quattro frame in the future once i you know save up some money to um get that with a full um full assortment of wheels i believe it's 90 in the outside and 84 in the middle or yeah something of that nature i'm not don't don't um hold me to that so i'm, I'm kind of wondering myself what this boot weighs how much does this boot weigh i'm gonna be going off camera for a minute because my scale is over by the bathroom and i'm gonna be re relaying that information while we wait all right so i'm setting the scale up i'm placing the scale on the floor i'm turning the scale on and here it goes this skate this boot with the frame and the wheels weighs 2.8 pounds 2.8 pounds that's that's amazing 2.8 pounds <laughs> this skate weighs um with the wheels and the hardware and everything attached, it's 2.8 pounds. This is going to feel amazing on my feet when I actually go out and skate. And I'm going to give you guys, like, um, I'm going to take a video while I skate that. Skate it for the first time, let you guys know how it feels on me. Uh, but, yeah, I don't have, like, an Insta360, so don't, 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 don't really get your hopes up for seeing me hold my hand like a fist everywhere I go. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm really loving the look of these skates. And it's so great. You get a lot of stuff in the... Um, in the box as well, you get this nice little bag here, which had the extra pair of laces in it. It had um, this nice tool they give you. Um, it also had the, you know, some couple spare parts, a bearing, Symmetrix bearing, a couple spare parts, some stickers. Um, we're inside the, um, this little tote, tote bag here. This bag here, this one, it had um, pretty, it had, um, the My Soul was in there, the catalog, these sticker sets, and the photograph. And along with that, you get your um, Super Legera certificate. It says that, you know, it says the Super Legera is a true passion project. Its goal to create a new chapter in rollerblading, a piece of technical art, a true masterpiece. It all started with a simple but very emotional idea. What if the, its creator was to build one last skate? What would he build? The Super, Legera, the Super Legera series is created and crafted by Peter W. I'm not going to butcher his last name. <laughs> who has had one single goal in life. To be the best skate builder the world has ever seen. And I, I honestly believe that um, he definitely has outdone himself on this. And it has a Super Legera code 003. So I wonder if that, this is the third boot created. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hopefully this is not too blurred out. Let's see if I get a little bit more focus on this, guys. I'm sitting at an odd angle here, so it's a little bit too harsh for me to see the monitor and the camera. But yeah, so it's a 003. Maybe this is the third boot made. Who knows? I'm not sure. Peter knows. But yeah, so you get the certificate with it. You also get um, instructions on how to heat mold your skate. So, you know, 
if you need to heat mold it and um, pretty much and um, get it even to fit even better um, you can do that as well if you have like pressure points so because it's a carbon boot so you can't heat mold it so yeah these are the adapt super Legera. I am absolutely blown away by this skate it's a, it's an amazing thing it's two point like you get a nice little letter here little thank you from Olga and Peter over at adapt you know show their, so to show their thanks to their customers has a nice carry strap here the um the liner pretty secure it's glued in it doesn't come out like I mentioned um yeah you get this nice buckle the laces so I I think that's pretty much gonna like wrap it up I'll show you guys um what the look down looks like but um yeah I'm really excited to get this skate um out on the road so yeah as I was saying before I have it set up with the hyper 84 frame from Symmetrix which is you know that makes Symmetrix as well in-house it's all handmade stuff it's amazing it's beautiful um the wheels are the symmetric wheels and i believe these are abec nine bearings if i'm not mistaken so yeah i mean you guys have to um post if you have any questions about it, you want me to answer i'm going to take these out to skate hopefully sometime later this week maybe maybe tomorrow i'll get a chance to go over um over to by like the lake and skate and um talk about how it feels like i'm gonna take you guys on that first r ride with these skates and see how it feels, how it responds, how I like it. Um, so let's talk about why I chose this frame. Well, I chose this frame because I, you know, it fit my budget. <laughs> let's just be frank about it. It fit my budget, this frame and the boot. Because the boot itself is the, th is the 1300 and the frame, you know, you have to pay for the frame and the wheels as well. So this frame at the moment, it fit my budget. I got it with the 84 wheels because I've never actually skated 84 or 80 millimeter wheels. Like when I skated um, on rec skates previously, they were smaller wheels back in the early 2000s. Um, and then when I got actually back into blading, I went to 72 millimeter wheels, skated those a bit on my aggressive skates. I took the frame, you know, swapped out the, for UFS frames, put 72 millimeter ones in. Um, wasn't really good for going around from point A to point B. It was okay, but not the best. Um, and then I went to the Rollerblade Twister, the three wheel. That was my first three wheel skate. You guys probably remember that video. Of me skating that for the first time it's not it's down there on the channel playlist somewhere <laughs> you check it out um and then i went to the power slide next 110 as well um uh, and upgrade that one to 125. so i've never um i've never tried the um 80 millimeter range of wheels so i want to see what it, what it feels like what the difference is i think that's going to be a little bit more balanced to it than the 110 and 125. might be a little bit slower but um We'll see. We'll see how this compares. I'm, I'm not gonna make any assumptions. I really don't know, but I assume it would be slower. It might be quicker to get up to speed, but slower overall. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna upgrade to the Quattro frame in the future once I can, you know, save some money and get that because it's pretty pricey as well. But yeah, this is um, this is my initial impression of the Adapt Super Legere. It's a beautiful, beautiful skate. Um, 2.8 pounds with the hardware and everything 2.8 pounds that's that's unheard of in my opinion um usually like the boot alone is not even that i mean especially my slides feet so yeah 2.8 pounds with everything that's that's crazy but yeah this is richard Vaughn. um i'm gonna show you guys a top down view but this is gonna probably end the talking segment of the video if you guys like what you see you know what to do subscribe like and all that good stuff you have any questions about this skate Post them in the comments. I usually get to, I usually go through my comments. If I don't see them, I tend to get to them. Maybe a few days later, get my head, there goes my head again, peeking into the frame. <laughs> I usually get to them um, a few days later, but I usually try to answer my questions as I see them come in on my channel. So yeah, any questions about the skate, anything you want to know, just drop them in the comments and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. So yeah, this has been Richard Olivon, and I like to say... If you are in the market for one of these skates and you want to um, check it out, go to adaptbrand.com. I'm not being sponsored by them, but I think they're a brand that, you know, deserves to be shouted, shouted out as much as possible because they make a beautiful product. Like I paid for everything. I paid for this with my own money. No sponsorship, no nothing. And um, yeah, I'm just a fan of the brand and I think they need to be more, you know, I, I'm trying to hype them up if I can for, with my little audience that actually watches me. I'll do a little bit of hype for them because I, I, I love the products they make. And yeah, that's it. So I'm rambling, Richard Levon. You guys stay safe out there. Hope you're staying healthy during this time of Corona. 
and peace. Have a great day, guys. Later.